Okay, next queue. Oh god, I can't see. My final queue. Actually, it's not his final queue. He asked like another three queues. Why are Muslims that live in non-Muslim countries so intent on changing those countries' belief system and converting others to Islam? Why can we not live in peace and respect of each other's beliefs? Why are Muslims intent of making the UK a Muslim country? I have been in Dubai um, many times and I love it. However, in my opinion, they have some very strict laws that I don't necessarily agree with. For example, one, two, three, four. However, when I'm there, I am respectful and abide by them. I also respect their religion and political beliefs and do not try to persuade them otherwise. I am sure they would be they would become offended if I do. Oh, don't worry about that. We have United States doing its best with all the pressure she have to change everything. So, no need for your help. Okay. Again, I when you say um, that uh, Muslims in UK trying to change UK into a Muslim country again, I have no idea what's happening there. And I have no idea what do you mean by trying to change. If you're referring for uh, their attempt to change is by teaching people about Islam, the increased number of people embracing Islam, this is something. And if you're talking about they are trying to enforce laws of Islam upon the uh, UK community, that's also a different thing. By the way, let's assume that I am Emperor Ziyad Hamad, I am the most mighty emperor in the past 600 years, and I overruled UK with my unstoppable forces. Yeah, I have unstoppable forces. What? I'm a really great emperor. What? Okay, and since I'm a Muslim, I'm supposed to rule by Islamic rules. Why do you think that this would affect you? Actually, non-Muslims, they don't live by Islamic rules. Maybe in certain things like insurance, like uh, traffic law and so on, yes, everybody has to abide them. But as a non-Muslim, you get to live as you like, as, you, as long as you pay your jizya, which is a tax that a non-Muslim pay. In his return, you have the protection, you have the freedom to live your life as you like. That's it? We will talk in more detail about that in coming episodes, but it will not affect your way of life. You can live as you like. That might explain why throughout our history many Christians prefer to live in their own societies. Many non, uh, for example, Jews prefer to have their own neighborhoods. Many of the non-Muslims prefer to stay together because they can practice their life really easily like this. Because once you're among Muslims, you have to respect the law. For example, a non-Muslim, he can eat pork, he can buy pork, he can sell pork, he can cook pork. But if you're sitting with Muslims, you're not allowed to sell it to them. You're not allowed to drink publicly among them. But if you have your own community, you can drink in the street and nobody cares. Nobody, no Muslims there, so you're not offending anyone. So yes, uh, within the Islamic system, the Islam allows for other people to live as they want. For 1400 years we've been doing that. Anyhow, back to our subject. Now, even if that happened, applying Islamic rules, part of Islamic rules is let people live as they want as long as they are not Muslims. That'd be fantastic. We'll get more detail to that. To the first part, which is teaching people about Islam, inviting people to Islam, increased number of people embracing Islam, this is a different issue. You cannot ask anyone it's the most stupid thing to come and ask me not to try to uh, teach my wife about Islam and invite her about that, and not to teach my neighbor. Actually, it's part of my duty as a Muslim is to teach people and spread the word. Let me give you a small example. Let's say that uh, you and your family and your best friends are sitting in uh, one place, and all of a sudden you discover that uh, there's a bomb, and you got like 20 minutes before it goes. So of course you'll go, ah, there's a bomb, there's a bomb, there's a bomb, there's a bomb, like this, right? Yeah, nobody believed you. Ah, oh, come on, what you're talking about? So what you will do, you'll just sit down, ah, you don't want to believe me? No. 
you will not stop until you get everybody out of there. Even if you have to knock them unconscious and drag them out. So you will not spare any effort to try to save your friends and family. Okay, now let's get back to Islam. When you know for certain that your friend or your wife or your family or someone, your neighbor, anyone, even if you're own enemy, his path in life is taking him straight to hell. You'll just sit down like this and say, ah, none of my business. Ah, why would I bother? I don't want to disturb him. I won't, don't want to cause, you know, I, I want to integrate and blend with people. So I don't want to, you know, raise some sensitive issues. Oh, really? Your neighbor is going straight forward to hell and you don't care? What do you think will happen on Judgment Day when you grab me from my throat in front of God and tell him, God, he was my neighbor for 30 years and he knew that this day is coming and he never told me. Even if I don't care about you, God is going to question me what I've done with my knowledge. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, لا تزول قدم عبد يوم القيامة حتى يسأل عن أربع عن عمره فيما أفناه وعن جسده فيما أبلاه وعن ماله من أين اكتسبه وفيما أنفقه وعن علمه ماذا فعل به Which means, no one will move a foot on Judgment Day until he is asked about four things about his life, how he spent it, about his body, how he weighed it down, about his money, where he earned it from and in what he spent it, and about his knowledge, what he had done with it. So yes, I need to teach people. This is also one of the reasons why I'm making these videos. If this is what you mean by making UK a Muslim country, after all, it's the, op the option of the UK people. If Islam is spreading in uh, UK, it's because of what? Well, people are choosing it. Why? You should go and ask them. But in the same time, I cannot just keep this knowledge for myself. After all, I'll be the biggest hypocrite on planet Earth if I truly believe that Islam is the way of God and after that, heaven and hell are waiting and God is going to judge us based on this covenant. I know that for sure and after that I keep this piece of information for myself. I don't care about people around me. I mean, if this is not hypocrisy, what is it?